Street by the Dave Matthews Band is going to be played in standard tuning, and the intro riff and verse riff is based around chords that are pretty common to Dave Matthews' style of playing. They're based around a root and a third. The first chord, which is actually a B minor, will be made with your ring finger on the 6th string 7th fret and your pinky finger on the 3rd string 7th fret. Uh, your ring finger should be blocking out the 5th string, but the 4th string will be ringing up and you'll strum, you'll strum from the 6th string to the 3rd string. The second chord, you're going to move with your first finger to the 6th string 3rd fret and your second finger will go on the 3rd string 4th fret. Your first finger will block out the fifth string, but the fourth string again will ring open. In fact, the fourth string will ring open throughout all of the intro and verse chords. That's your G chord. Your next chord is going to be an A chord, and you're going to make it with your ring and pinky finger. Ring finger going down to the sixth string, fifth fret, and pinky finger going down to the third string, sixth fret. So we've got B minor, G, A, and then the fourth chord is going to be an F sharp minor. The way that you make that chord is your first finger will go to the sixth string second fret, and your second finger will go to the third string second fret. Fifth string still getting blocked out like in every other chord here, and fourth string being left open. And then you'll go back to the G chord by moving your first finger up one fret and your second finger up two frets so that your first finger is on the sixth string third fret and second finger on the fourth string fourth fret. G chord back to the A chord, then back to the F sharp minor chord, and then you slide all the way back up to the B minor chord and repeat B minor, G, A, F sharp, G, A, F sharp. I think I left out the G the last time, so after the F sharp, it returns back to the G by moving with your ring finger to the 6th string, 3rd fret, and pinky finger to the 4th string, the 3rd string, 4th fret. And then take this shape and pull it all the way up to the B minor so that your ring and pinky fingers now are on the 7th fret of string 6 and 3 respectively, and repeat. pattern to this. You've got down, down, up. And then down, 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 and down, down, up, down, down, down. And in these chords you can start to strum across with that style feel. Whenever we get to the chorus, we've got a change of chords. It goes to a B minor again, but this time the B minor is being played as a bar chord, or almost a bar chord. You put your first finger on the fifth string second fret, your ring finger goes to the fourth string fourth fret, your pinky finger goes to the third string fourth fret, and your second finger lands on the second string third fret. You'll strum from the fifth string to the second fret, second string. You don't want for the low E to ring out or really the high E. If the high E rings out, it doesn't kill the chord, but if the low E rings out, it does add a bit of a tonality that should not be there. But the course is going to begin on a B minor, and you'll just be down, up, down, up, down on your strumming pattern to an A chord. The way that you play the A chord is you'll have an open fifth string and then your first finger will bar the second fret of strings four, three, and two. Your first string will be left out altogether, your sixth string will be left out altogether. Then you go to a D chord, standard D chord. Put your first finger on the second string, on, I'm sorry, put your first finger on the third string second fret, ring finger on the second string third fret. 2nd finger on the 1st string, 2nd fret, and then sometimes the thumb reaches around and grabs the 6th string, 2nd fret, and then it goes to a G major chord. 
Dave Matthews puts his ring finger on the sixth string third fret, second finger on the fifth string second fret, open four, open three, open two, and then pinky finger on the first string third fret before it repeats back to the B minor, to the A, to the D, back to the G, and it repeats that I think maybe three times in the first verse or in the first course and then uh, several times in the last chorus before then coming back up to the B minor of the original progression to the G, A, F sharp, G, A, F sharp, G, B minor, G, A, F sharp, G, A, F sharp, G, B minor. Those are the chords and movements to Gray Street by the Dave Matthews Band. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.